By now, just about everyone is aware of the potential threat posed by near-Earth approaching asteroids. But compared to human lifespans, large impact events are relatively few and far between. And on much shorter timescales, these same objects could provide the raw materials to drive intriguing new industries to benefit people on Earth. At least, that's the value proposition articulated by a new venture called Planetary Resources, Incorporated. We talk about asteroids as a source of things like platinum and palladium and rare metals, but they're also a source of things that are of value to being human. Water, hydrogen, oxygen, uh, carbon dioxide, the things that are critical for human life. So as we begin to expand the human species beyond the surface of Earth, into space, we're going to need access to these for breathing, for drinking, for rocket fuel, for growing plants, for evolving humanity beyond just the bounds of Earth to become a multi-planetary species. Now despite the name, Planetary Resources' primary intention is not to mine asteroids and bring their precious materials back to Earth, though that's not completely out of the question. But rather, the main goal is to give humanity many of the substances and much of the energy sources needed to settle the inner solar system. I think if we have any hope of establishing ourselves permanently in space, we have to have humans and our space establishment self-supporting. We have to find the resources that will allow us to operate in space using the resources that we find there. Those include water and radiation shielding, structural metals, and out of that, self-supporting establishment, we might find materials that are important enough to bring back to Earth. Beyond helping to find and plot the paths of near-Earth objects that could threaten civilization, Planetary Resources intends to soon make good use of a few of them. At first, to fuel spacecraft, a dramatic cost savings over lugging an equivalent mass of fuel up out of the deep gravity well of Earth. Planetary Resources will revolutionize the way space is explored by enabling the creation of a network of fuel depots around the solar system. The reason space exploration has been so expensive till now is that every pound of fuel and air and consumables that we need to take to space, we have to bring from the surface of the Earth. Using the resources of space to explore space is what will enable that bright future that we all dream of. You might call this venture the microprocessor revolution of space development a dramatic reduction in the size of a space program needed to achieve an important result. And that's exactly what the founders of Planetary Resources hope to achieve. Planetary Resources' mission is to gain access to the natural resources of space by mining near-Earth approaching asteroids. With technological advances that are coming out of exponential technologies and investors willing to bear the risk, small teams are now able to literally do what only governments and large corporations could do before. This is likely to be a long and fascinating effort. Stay with us at Space.com for full coverage of what may become one of the most important business and human stories of this young century. I'm Dave Brody. Space.com. <laughs>